This is The Limit. And on today's episode, we're going to be talking about the latest in McLaren's Ultimate Series, the Elva. The Elva is McLaren's latest in the Ultimate Series. We started with the F1, P1, Senna, Speedtail, and now the Elva. Now let's go with a little bit of history with the name. Elva, which is French for She Goes, was the company that helped Bruce McLaren with his road going versions of his race cars in the 60s, which was the M1A, the M1B, and the M1C. A tribute you can see with the design of this car. Now, as you can see, this is an open top roaster with no windshield, which we'll talk about in a minute when it comes to this car here in America. Let's talk about McLaren's active air management system. Now, that big vent in the hood, that is what that's for. It takes the air from the front of the car into the nose cone, up into that hood vent, and the air that goes over the nose gets pushed up from the air coming from the vent, which creates a bubble-like area, which creates a calm cockpit for the driver and the passenger. I know that was a, a lot of words for me. It's hard to get out. So I'll be using a diagram I found online that can show you better than I can tell you. Now, this version of the car, we will not be getting here in America. Outside of shown display, we'll be getting the windshield version. And I don't know what that design looks like. I haven't seen it. I've seen a few pictures of what it could look like. I don't know if it's official or not, but I'll share them with you so you can see what this car possibly will look like with a windshield. Let's talk about some of the specs for this car. It has the same twin turbocharged V8 as the Senna, which makes a little more horsepower at 804, but has the same torque at 590 pound foot. This is going to be the lightest car McLaren has ever produced. The exact weights, we don't know. With that being said, it's going to be faster than the Senna. The 0 to 60 time is going to be sub 3. Uh, top speed hasn't been said. Just say it's faster than the Senna and slower than the Speedtail. Let's talk interior for a moment. This car is going to have an optional audio system with marine grade technology for increment weather and stuff like that. It's also going to come with an 8 inch uh, monitor for your car information and whatever track telemetry if you're going to track this car. Finally, let's talk about costs. There's only going to be 399 units built at a cost of 1.7 million dollars now that is a whole ton of money but i'm sure it's nothing for the person looking to drive the most uh luxurious craziest cars in the world so now i want to talk about some of the things i like about this car i love the overall design without the windshield if you see the picture that i posted it looks kind of like a corvette stingray with the windshield hopefully that's not the actual design either way it's still an amazing car and the design harkens back to that original ma uh, or m1a car which is a pretty uh, crazy looking race car from back in the day and i want to know when is the speed tail coming i know this car is coming in 2020 i um, thought the speed tail was coming in 2019 i don't know it probably was already been delivered to all the people that ordered and bought the car and i just don't know about it because i'm not in the, the loop but yeah that is the mclaren elva pretty amazing pretty spectacular car if you uh want to see what mclaren's got planned cooking in the pot next uh stick with me i might be able to tell you a thing or two 
uh, you might want to find some YouTubers that got more plug than I do because I was going to make a video about this car before I even knew what the car was called. And luckily for me, McLaren basically spilled all the beans and set this up for me to actually make a video where it was I actually knew what I was kind of talking about. But I'm yammering on now. So if you like the video, you know what to do. Like the video. If you dislike it, dislike it. If you want to see what I got planned next, come see what I got planned next. I'll catch you next time here on The Limit.